Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, TV shows, I don't know, what have you, I guess. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, of course, I'll do a video about it, obviously. So, right, as, as you can see here, it's not a damn Star Wars video, again. So, right, I will post a link down below for at first YouTube channel if you want to see his version of the game playthrough, if you want to see more gaming from his channel. He would definitely be more consistent with his gaming content, I guess you would say, because that's kind of his stick. Anyway, that aside, I just wanted to let you know that he does more gaming stuff. I will post a link to his channel down below in the description box. Anyway, just trying to wrap things up. That was a bit more, I guess. I just want to finish stuff off, extent, at least for this video. And of course, thank you ahead of time for watching it, obviously, because it's quite long. So let's get into it, shall we? I don't know, I've already said this, even though this is a much older title, it still has put some pretty good graphics, I'll give it that. The graphics here are actually really good here, folks. The graphics are really actually not too bad, I suppose. Even though it's a lot older than some of the other games, of course. That all popular nowadays. And this actually has a fan base, so it must have done something right. It must have been doing something right over here, folks, I reckon. And I say it will be, because uh, there's a lot of people that actually are passionate about this game. And that's great. That's great that you people are passionate with, for this kind of stuff. There's no shame in it. But that doesn't say anyway. You enjoy this kind of a thing. I do, I do believe so. You know, this game, this kind of game actually could kind of be really fun. So I don't, I don't blame anyone for what I actually wanted to take this seriously as an art form. At least I think so. This is anyway, Kansas. we're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured, not too shabby, guard, guard. not too shabby. Worry, we'll what they're trying to aim to for. And it comes with this, ca uh, these characters. The way they look, the way they act. So yeah, there's a lot of creative stuff. It does go into here, folks. Oh, definitely. There's lots of creative stuff. Let's go into this kind of a thing. Let's see here. Yeah. I just, I just don't understand as to why a lot of people like to just trash talk. This kind of a thing. I, I don't get it. I do not understand as to why a lot of people like to just trash talk with video games. Like they have no merit or whatever. But they can. It can be really well done, of course. At least I think so. But let's just go through here and whatnot. Of course. I'm just like, okay, already got to take care of it. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, this game's pretty, pretty damn insane. Okay. Sure, whatever. Anyway, but again, thank you for anybody for watching ahead of time. I really do appreciate it. I was saying earlier, folks. What? I really do what? appreciate it, of course. It's my way just to have some fun here, I guess. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, yeah, let's just go so. and just do this. He's anything like he used to be. Thing. He still hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let this sit. Just do whatever, I suppose. So whether or not it'll be my it's son. It's a caravan, then. I don't know. He's so full. Oh, yeah. I hate him. Wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. But thanks, by the way, for all your help.
I'm going to continue to believe that video games are an art form. And, okay. Sure, whatever, I guess. I know some people have, like, their own different interpretation. What is something was art and what isn't. But that's just you, though. When it comes to these people, that's just them. Anyway. Uh, let's go through here and whatnot. Oh, finish. Well, that, whatever I have to be doing. But yeah, I do believe that these kind of games can be an art, art have some artistic merit to it. Oh, redo this one. I'm here. Okay, whatever. There's quite a bit of walking and talking and all that jazz, of course, folks. That was great, though. The game, the game itself is pretty fun anyway, so I guess I can't complain too much for what they're trying to do here and whatnot. I can't even complain too much. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh. Wow, it's, yeah. it's nothing, sorry. All right, then. I told you my wife died four years ago. I, I, I've just been trying to remember what she but looked sure. like. I guess I'm gonna get, so get by the, I, I go by the idea that it, this is actually some, did, it has some artistic merit to it because I do think I video games can be art, an art for him. There's a lot of garbage gone. games, but still, uh, strange? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. Okay. Yep, I'm sitting by that, though. But of I course, uh, the can, this kind of game, just any games, really, does not be this genre. I, they can uh, include elements really from a narrative like this still. kind of you, thing, you think I'm some uh, cinematic scenes, music, you name it. Of course. Maybe. I mean, can't be uh, worse so I do. I do think that it's been considered as an art form. Of course. Like, there's so many stuff not, you can actually to be. I, say I about this no kind of thing. And yes, I, I do realize that the categorization of video games being considered as works of art has been fairly controversial in a lot of ways. I mean, yes, there's a lot of, co a lot of recognizable elements in video games that may contain artistic elements, one like, like the traditional forms of such as music, storytelling, stuff like that, or even graphic design, but I don't want to, just, want to dismiss that anyway. And whatnot, which I think is ridiculous, of course. What's some artistic merit when it comes to this kind of thing? I just don't know why the IPR want to dismiss it, but whatever, yes. So, okay. Let me just go through here. But yes, I do think it's going to be a good way. There's lots of ways that this, this gaming thing this whole gaming thing can be purposely designed in such a way to be a work of creative expression. I mean, yes, of course, this kind of idea has been challenged by by critics or art critics a lot of ways, which, like I said, I think is weird, really dismissive of, of that kind of a thing, but whatever, I suppose. Anyway, so yes, I do view this as a way that it could be creative in a lot of ways. Which it is. I really do believe it is. I mean, I know a lot of people that like to just throw a lot of, a lot of garbage towards the video games just because of the way it is, just because of the difference, at least in some respects, compared to like paintings and whatnot, drawing. I don't know. She seems weird that the people are just dismiss it just because of that. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand any of that. I just want to be just really dismissive of that kind of a thing. Just because it's different from like the, a lot of the other stuff out there. I don't understand. I really don't. I mean, just, I don't, just be dismissive of this idea that it's impossible for this, for this video game industry to be taken seriously. I don't, I don't, I don't get why a lot of people just want to be dismissive of that. Which I, because that's the thing though. Here. But that's the kind of thing. Maybe just me getting more a lot of stuff. What's it tend to do? I'm not trying to. Yeah. I'm not trying to just rant like I always do, just complain about a lot of stupid shit, which I, I, I've often done. Just complain about a lot of stupid shit. 
of course. I do things annoying, but whatever, I reckon. Whatever. But anyway. What? Okay. What not? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure. I'll stick with what I said. I already do believe so. Okay. <sighs> oh, whatever, I suppose. I know a lot of people don't really want to compare video games to like an actual art form, really, but again, kind of compared to like a stage play. When people go watch a stage play, they know they really, they really recognize that that is an art form, but. They don't want to compare with video games like a stage play. That thing's weird. And even though a stage play is a different form of, of our artistic talent and whatnot. I just don't understand. I feel like it's dismissive. I just don't get any of that shit. Whatnot. It's too weird to me. People want to be very dismissive of this kind of thing just because it's not a song way. The yeah, operatic. Shade plays can be recognized as an R form. Dancing is recognized as an R form. Painting is over here. I just said it could be recognized as an R form or even wood carvings. Wood carvings are said to be an R form as well. So again, I don't get it. I mean, that's, that's not a jab towards any of that. If you want to make carvings out of wood and make a living off of all that, that's fine. That's not really a bad thing, of course. That's not really a bad thing whatsoever. Obviously. But anyway, it's just... Whatever, I'm just, I'm just rambling on this point. I'm just rambling on, of course. But anyway, that's just my two cents, I guess. What I think. Because I do think that video games can be a good way of self-expression in some ways. Yes, I do realize there's a lot of bad video games, of course. There's a lot of really what? shitty video games that were, that were made over the years, unfortunately. But, you could just say that just the same thing for just about everything. Literally everything else. Every other far, I remember you found some crap. I was like writing poetry. There was some good poetry that was written, and there was bad poetry and whatnot. Okay. It just depends how it's done, of course. It depends how it's done, obviously. Anything about it, it really depends. But what do I know? I'm just some asshole complaining about stuff, like always. Whatever, suppose. Whatever. Okay. Let's just get this shit. Or whatnot. Just do whatever, do whatever I have to do. Even if you don't make music, believe in, like those composers. I'm poisoning a lot of money by making, uh, by making music for a film. That's recognized as an art form, but this isn't. Again, I don't get it. I don't get any of that. I mean, it's fine to be a composer, quite obviously. It's fine to be a composer, make movies. But how to make movies, of course, that's fine. But I'm not here to, to take a jab at anyone like that. Of course not. Okay. Through here. And even if you want to accept big games as an art form, it makes you include all of them, of course. And I know people were taking issues when it comes to games being really violent. Would violence get in the way? I guess for some people, well, for, violence would get in the way. Of course, if it's violent, it's like hyper violence and whatnot. Uh, because of that, it doesn't count. Some people. Just because of that, it doesn't count. Just because it's violent. Which to me is just ridiculous. But whatever, what do I know? I'm just com more complaining like I often do. Yeah, which I know, I'm often do com what? doing some kind of complaining. Back literally. Because in this case, it's not that much of a difference, really. I'm just gonna be complaining about some stuff as usual. Because in this case, it's no different than the other times where people are just complaining about people what can I do? being stupid. Because people can be stupid. Of 
quite clearly. Okay, whatever the case, I guess. Whatever the case, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Yes, I'm sticking to, to what I said. Yeah. Even uh, animation itself can be viewed as an art form. Animation is pants as an art form. But again, for some of this, for some, for some reason, this, this one does not get recognized as an art form. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. So because I love how, I love how com compliments saying it is art form, it's good for memory, but how other people make complaints where doing this kind of thing, playing video games is not a good way to get smart, whatever. Uh, which I think is stupid. Like, like video games can't help, can't help you with that. I guess. I don't know. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Not really. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I guess. Like I said, maybe it's just what you complain too damn much. Maybe that's what it is. I'm just complaining too damn much. Okay. So let's go through here and whatnot. Take care of what I have to take care of. What can I do? Oh, yeah. Just, just kick some ass and take some names. Oh, oh yeah, we just go over here. I hope everyone is having a good day. Okay. Oh yeah, I know some people are going to have a rough time at, uh, during the day, but I hope everyone is having a good day, at least a decent day, I suppose. At least a decent day, I reckon. Oh yeah, at least a decent day. Oh yeah. Let's just do this. Do whatever I, do whatever we have to do. I reckon just do whatever we have to do. And just kick some ass. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure whatever. Damn it. Oh boy. I again I do have to think anybody at a time because none of these types of videos can be pretty damn long. Of course, I know this type of video is going to be pretty damn long. Okay. I'm just going to say I'm doing this on purpose. Because we're making this a lengthy video. Because I know a lot of people out there don't mind it, really. When it comes to lengthy videos. And it's when it comes to gameplays, I mean. When it comes to gameplays. Okay. Mm hmm. Right, right there. Mm. Let's just do this. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Have some fun. Yeah, anyway, I do hope everyone is having at least a decent day, though. Hope everyone has a decent day. Definitely. Well, whatever, I reckon. Whatever. Now, of course, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you for, very much for tuning in. Of course. Okay. Quite a bit of is doing this. I guess it's fine. You're saying you're supposed to be interacting anyway when you think about it. It's supposed to be something you're supposed to be 
trying to do it anyway because these characters. Holy shit. Anyway. But sure. Let's get this shit done. Get all this shit done. Don't do as much as possible. What can I do? And it's also another reason why I want to make this, these types of videos fairly long anyway. Just want to get as much done as I can out the way. Just want to get as much done out the way as I can. Uh, whatever, I reckon. Just, just do what you have to do and just have some fun, of course. Yeah. What can I do? Okay, dokey. Yeah, but yeah. I was saying earlier, like I said, as I said earlier, folks, I do think that's gonna be an artistic, fun take on these types of. This is any game you really. It's gonna be pretty artistic if done properly, obviously. Just like with any other medium. Well if done properly, you can be really creative with, with what they were trying to aim for. I'm when I say that, I mean the people who, are, who made the games, quite obviously. Darth Malak himself is on his way. Okay. Arriving Whatever, I reckon. He speaks the truth, Garth. I can feel the Whatever. Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. Anyway, but if you throw down let's your continue weapons, onward. What we're trying to person. do here. I've seen enough of okay, my you teammates over here. Like you won't call them that, I guess. Lord Malak will I guess that's what they are, prisoners, just teammates, I suppose. Have to do. Cool. I do like how this game is... I do like how this game, to some extent, kind of flesh them out. In some ways, I suppose. Gotta, gotta have some good writing in this, even if it's a game. You it's a game, I don't, I don't mind. Have some good dialogue and whatnot. I mean, yes, I do think some of the dialogue here can be kind of strange at times. But it's fine or whatever, guys. Whatever, I reckon. Some of the dialogue can be kind of strange. Nothing about it. Okay. Uh huh. Just kicking my ass. Just keep kicking ass. Oh yeah, you bastards. Can't get away with this. Can't get can't get away with whatever you're doing. Absolutely not. A big no no. Try to mighty. Just go to hell. Go to hell, you damn it. Damn you all. Damn you all to hell. Yeah. Okay, you want to die? Yeah, these creature things they want to die. That's what, that's what happens when you come and mess around. Alrighty then. Alright then. Can I come up with some kind of thing here as well? That's probably it. Sure, whatever. Whatever, mate. Cannot beat me. And just go to hell. Yes. Bastard. You bastard. He has included the weapon. I'm gonna fight all of you. Okay. Is that it? No, I guess not. More fighting. Yeah, I need more fighting now for sure. Alright. Come on. Just do this. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, that blew up. That one blew up. Okay, that was a thing. Oh, more explosions? Okay. Okay, explosion is explosion gonna be cool. Yeah, that's right. Damn. That would be really cool. Yeah. Uh, do this, I suppose. Garth. Garth. Yep, even more fight. The Admiral, he's still alive. It's time to finish this. Are we done? Okay, I'll leave it with that part, I guess. 
Yes, yeah, more talking. Like I said, we more and more life. talk. Do you know the pain he's Oh, definitely. Me. Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do All not right, become then. what you despise. Oh, damn, talk. Karth. Oh, shit. I must tell you. I must tell you something. But sure. <laughs> Come closer. All right, then. You didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. <laughs> Remember them whenever. <laughs> whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! Mr. Hanna said you. It can't be true, can it? No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. What can I do?
What can I do? Ready. What? It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. What can I do? Darth Malak. Damn you, Darth! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. 
I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time, and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training. But this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan? The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. 
The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be.
This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! <laughs> Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said? Or should I? Revan, what, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... Do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? 
Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malik who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do. And I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. <laughs> I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. That is unnecessary, Master. My intent is not hostile. I am receiving no combat override commands. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols. That which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original Master. Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late.
I found out I was bi when I was 23 because I just dated this dude. How did you start that? So the story behind that was I was talking to this dude. He was interesting. He was fun. And um, he ended up coming to somewhere near me and he was like, hey, I've got this like, uh, I think it was like an Airbnb or something. I've got this place booked out. Would you want to come and say hi? Would you want to come meet me? I kind of went, I'm not doing anything on those days. And he is fun to hang out with. So yeah, I'm down. I'll go say hi. I'll go, I'll go check it out. So I went over, stayed there. We met up. Dude, this is gonna be more explicit than there. We met up and uh, we, first night, we sort of drank a lot. That was it, we just sort of like, just a good vibe. So we were just sort of vibing around, you know, just talking. And I was in maybe not the best relationship before because we were sort of drinking and went to bed fairly late. I head to my, my little bedroom thing, he goes to his, and I wake up in the morning at God knows when to like a knock at the door. I said like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just in pajamas or whatever. And went like, does that mean you're like clothes? And I went, sure, yep. And he brought in a grilled cheese toasty and some, uh, and some fruit and some water. Water. And he said like, you know, because we were drinking last night and everything and I wanted you to make sure you I wanted to make sure you're good And I cried <laughs> No one had ever treated me like that Ever. I still remember that fairly fondly. I think it was a, a nice sort of thing Obviously now, you know, I've been dating Ashley for a year and not to talk shit on my ex or anything like that But like Ashley does that stuff all the time I just had never been treated like that before like ever and it's like a I don't know it, it changed how I viewed relationships There was an awful lot of people that sort of wanted my attention sort of at the time afterwards And it really narrowed down sort of who I'd spend time with because I sort of you know, I'd seen what things sort of could have been, right? It's a little gay. <laughs> it's a- it's a- it's a tad gay. Why didn't you marry him? There's a reason why everyone breaks up. Things just don't work out, and we both thought it sort of had our reasons for it, you know? Appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sentient. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was the Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. 
With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, you could activate my combat matrix. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes if you make a mistake. If you shut down a system out of the proper order, a shutdown will occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. Very good. What would you like to shut down first? Mm -hmm. I believe that was correct. What would you like to shut down next? shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? Mm -hmm. Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Shut down next. Mm -hmm. Cognitive systems shut down. What next? Assassination protocols deleted. All systems reset. It, it worked. Thank you, Sentient. Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now, I am certain. I wish you well.
Wow, you should have seen it. That droid came running out of the tomb like a bantha on a rampage. It fired some kind of jetpack and off it went. Whatever you did, it sure was effective. I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. You'd better go and tell Master Uthar about this if you haven't already. You may not have destroyed the droid, but you might still get the reward. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I... I... I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith Lords. Nothing I can think of. There's supposedly some old Sith Hermit that haunts these hills and kidnaps students. Might want to watch out for him. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off-limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting. More so than I did. When he decided to leave the Order, he asked me to come with him. He... He, he said he loved me. No, I didn't. I enjoyed his company as a friend, but nothing further. 
I had no idea he felt as he did. He was angry at my refusal. I assumed that he would get over the hurt in time. I suppose such feelings can fester and darken, and they never go away. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him. But he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please. Your wish?
your wish. Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? It... it's clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. Careful of the Tukata. It's all we can do to keep those beasts away while we work.
Your wish? Hello again. Still roaming about the valley, I see. Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. No, oh, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. No. I, I, I want power as much as the next person, but I'm not stupid. I know what I'm capable of. Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business.
Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Beware of this. This spirit. It may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I do, and yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... Oh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid, hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost, I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought, so wrong. Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it in the end. It is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue.
Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. No need? What choice have I? Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. If... if I could return... Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. I'm here. What is it? I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Impressive bravado, I'm sure. Do you honestly think I would let an opportunity to impress Master Uthar pass me by so easily? I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Need to do things the hard way, eh? What is it?
Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee Savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. I see you got one of your own early. May as well, while you can. Now then, was there something I could do for you? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. You're a Sith, right? Excuse me. Uh, you're a Sith, right? Excuse me. Ciao, Maso. Gino Morirani Lubo Tonkin Ma no Kunetsag. Kakin cha nawa bagaon. Bagwa shon konti machit um. Chaubaso, Gino Morirani Lubo, Kakin Cha.
then folks i guess that would be it for now so of course obviously i thank anybody ahead of time for giving us a view and like i said earlier i know these videos can be can be pretty damn lengthy but that's on purpose in some ways because i know there's a lot of people that like to watch game playthroughs whether when they're really long i reckon but anyway I just want to just try to do as much as I can. That's all I'm trying to do. Just try to do as much as I can with these, these characters and whatnot. With these, the storyline, the gameplay, th and whatnot. So no, anyway, again, again, I will post a link down below for Elf's YouTube channel. If you want to see some of his stuff, of course. 
you would definitely be uploading more video games way more frequent than I would. If that's something you want to watch, of course. Anyway, that'll be it for now. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later. Oh, yeah. Some crazy shit. Definitely.